Okay, now that we've calibrated the photo scanner, we're ready to scan some photos. Now there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either scan your photos horizontally or you can do them vertically. So for this demonstration, we'll do a vertical scan. Just move the paper guide towards the right hand side to match the size of the photo. Okay, pop that in facing downwards and that will then automatically scan through. Okay, the photo scanner will then process the information and then display the preview on the preview screen. Now to scan another photo, click the scan button and pop that through. Okay, now if you've got smaller uh, photos or passport style photos, uh, you just need to pop them into the, uh, the little um, the photo holder here and then pop that through. Now the photo scanner has a couple of modes we can, which you can actually change that will alter the quality of your scans. Uh, press the scan button, then press the menu button. Now there's a couple of modes here, there's a color mode and a color optimum. Click down, press the color mode. You can actually change it from color to grayscale. Press the menu button again and you've got color optimum, press the OK. Now if you select on, that will actually increase the quality of the scan, but it will take a longer time to process. Click OK, pop the photo in, Now once you finish scanning, there's a couple of ways you can transfer the files to your computer. If your computer is an SD card reader, you just need to take the SD card out of the photo scanner and pop that into your computer. If your computer doesn't have a uh, SD card reader, using the provided USB cable, you can connect the photo scanner to your computer and that will then lead to copy the files from the uh, SD card onto your hard drive.